Now, it's a condition that affects more than 80% of pregnant women. Pregnancy nausea has long been considered a necessary evil, and thus little research has gone into it. But now American researchers have finally managed to pinpoint the cause of the condition, linking it to a hormone released while the fetus is growing. To tell us a bit more, our science editor Julia Seeger is with me. And Julia, first of all, it is worth emphasising that pregnancy, nausea and vomiting have long been trivialised by medics. That's right, Nadia, because like many other illnesses, it was long considered as a psychological issue, as something that women were created in their heads or even as a rejection mechanism of the pregnancy. So it did indeed delay scientific research in a big way, mm. even though since the beginning of time, vomiting and nausea have actually been uh, extremely common symptoms of uh, pregnancy, and it's about 50 to 80 percent of women who suffer from it at one point in their pregnancy. Now, there is an extreme form of it, and you may have heard of it because the Princess of Wales, Kate mm. Middleton, actually spoke about it publicly, but it's called hyperemesis gravidarum, and here it causes severe uh, vomiting 24-7. Uh, it's the leading cause of hospitalization uh, among pregnant women. Now, there's another reason, Nadia, why it was so difficult to uh, study this phenomenon, and it's because when women get pregnant, in an instant manner, there's so many biological changes that mm -hmm. happen at once that it's very hard to pinpoint the one leading cause. And so it's kind of like looking at, uh, for a needle in a haystack. That said, though, the culprit has been identified by these researchers, and it's apparently the hormone GDF. 15. That's right. Well, there was already a study back in 2018. They had looked at the DNA of 53,000 women, and they had found a correlation between nausea and the amount of this hormone GD, uh, uh, GDF-15. That's right. And uh, so this is actually a hormone that women secrete even when they're not pregnant. But mm. what the study now shows is that it's also the placental unit, meaning the placenta and the fetus, that are going to secrete this hormone. And there could be an incompatibility between the type of GDF-15 secreted by the mother and the type of GDF-15 secreted by the baby. Now, there's another interesting point made in the study that can sound kind of counterintuitive, mm -hmm. is that it's actually the women who have a low level of GDF-15 before they get pregnant who tend to be more at risk of developing severe, uh, severe nausea. Mm -hmm. And the reason why here is that scientists think that it's this sudden exposure to GDF-15 that creates the nausea. Now, one question that you may have is why, you know, nature is quite perfect. So why would a fetus secrete a hormone causing nausea to uh, its mother? Well, here it's believed that it's a way to protect the mother and the fetus from food poisoning and that our ancestors may have needed this mechanism mm -hmm. to survive and thrive and that perhaps today it has lost its utility a little bit like the uh, appendix, for instance, mm -hmm. which tend to do to create now more problems than it solves. How fascinating, uh, Julia. But I suppose what pregnant women out there really do want to know is, look, is there anything that actually works to treat the nausea? Right. Well, there are a couple of things that can alleviate a little bit mm. the nausea. So we tend to tell you, well, drink sparkling water or ginger ale or acupuncture can actually help a little bit, but there's not one miracle mm -hmm. treatment. But what's interesting is that this discovery is actually paving the way to a new therapy, and that could be desensitization therapy. Because as I told you, it's perhaps this sudden exposure to the, to the hormone that's creating the nausea. So theoretically, if you can expose a woman before she's pregnant with this hormone, Maybe she's not going to react in such a, uh, a, a, you know, a violent way. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea, and it's actually been proved in, in mice, for instance. Uh, but the problem is we believe that it's not the only hormone that could contribute to nausea. Oh. So there's still a lot of work there. And one last thing, and I'm going to end with that, is that we know that it's secreted by the placenta so that we know that it has a role to play in the development of the fetus. So it's going to be a long time before a drug actually hits the market uh, to, to solve this specific issue because of this problem. All right. Well, fascinating to know a bit more about it. Thanks very much. Julia Seeger for us there.